Extreme weather is the most common cause of power outages. High winds can topple trees and branches that bring down power lines, and this can cause significant damage to the electric system. When the power goes out, the first thing people want to know is, when will my power be restored? Well, depending on the severity of the damage, power can be restored in just a few minutes or hours. But in extreme cases, it can be a matter of days until all customers have their lights back on. Hello, everyone. I'm Debbie Jarvis with Atlantic City Electric. Getting a sense of the restoration process may help you make the best of a difficult situation. We want to arm you with information that can help you better understand how your electricity is restored so you can make appropriate plans. In this case, knowledge is power. Atlantic City Electric's restoration process is a three-step approach. It begins with preparation, followed by assessment, then restoration. During the preparation phase, the actions Atlantic City Electric takes may include alerting customers to oncoming storms and urging them to be prepared making sure crews have enough supplies that may be needed for the restoration efforts. Crew work hours are sometimes extended and some off-duty workers are asked to come in for duty. And sometimes arrangements are made to have out-of-state utilities lend a hand. Once the storm has subsided, the assessment phase begins. Crews head out to gather information by surveying the damage. Also critical to the process are the Atlantic City Electric customers who call to report outages. You have reached Atlantic City Electric's outage reporting system. Customers are asked to call into Atlantic City Electric's computerized high volume call answering system, or HVCA. The HVCA helps to expedite the restoration efforts because the system can process information from up to 100,000 calls per hour. Starting with area code, enter or say the telephone number of the outage location. As soon as you respond to the recorded prompts, your information is immediately sent to the Computerized Outage Management System, or OMS. OMS processes and analyzes the information, which then allows the dispatchers to take the outage information and assign crews to the targeted trouble spots. Even if your neighbor has called about the power outage, your call is important too to help us close in on just how extensive the outage is. It's always important for our customers to call. Uh, the more customers that call in, the more information we have, the better able we are to diagnose and analyze uh, and hopefully pinpoint exactly where the problem is. Uh, oftentimes when customers call in, they can also provide valuable information to us such as they may either, you know, heard a loud bang, they may observe the, a flash, or they may see something such as a tree down in their yard with wires down, and that really helps us pinpoint exactly where we want to send our first responders. And hopefully in return, uh, we'll be able to restore power much quickly. It's also important to keep your home contact information up to date. If your phone number is on record with us, the system will automatically process your call and we can even give you a sense of where the crews are. In the event our system is damaged, Atlantic City Electric first works to correct potentially life-threatening situations such as downed live wires in public health and safety facilities without power. Atlantic City Electric then works downstream, beginning with any problems with the transmission lines serving thousands of customers. Atlantic City Electric works to get the greatest number of customers restored as quickly as possible. Next, substation equipment is checked for repairs, followed by work on main distribution lines serving large numbers of customers. Secondary lines serving neighborhoods are addressed next. And finally, work is done on service lines to individual homes and businesses. The best analogy is just like when it snows, it is not possible to plow side streets before the main roadways are cleared. During a power outage, it is not possible to correct problems at individual locations before main substations and feeders are restored. In most cases, before power can be restored, repairs of some type must be made to the system. If tree damage is extensive, contracted tree trimmers must be sent to the scene first to clear out downed trees and broken branches before overhead line crews are dispatched to the scene. Most outages in our area are caused by trees or overhanging branches falling onto power lines. Now to answer some frequently asked questions. Why does my neighbor have power, but I don't? Sometimes one side of the street is fed by one feeder and the other side of the street is fed by another feeder. 
Why is Atlantic City Electric often not able to give out exact restoration times? Because sometimes we don't know exactly what the extent of damage is on a feeder or a circuit. Generally what we have to do is dispatch damage assessment crews to go out, respond to the, the problem, take a look at it, and based on their field assessment, report back uh, to our dispatch center and invariably to our call center to give an estimate on what it would take to make repairs. Sometimes it could be as simple as replacing a fuse, which would take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But sometimes it'll take, it could take 8 to 10 hours when you have to replace poles and wires. Other factors include accessibility to the damaged area, coordination with other agencies working on the storm restoration, like public works, tree removal, and changing public safety and health priorities. Why do Atlantic City electric crews sometimes leave my neighborhood before power is restored? Well, sometimes the problem that is not in that particular area where you saw them. They, it is in another portion of either that development or that neighborhood, and they're out there working on the problem somewhere else to restore power to that whole portion of the circuit. The crew may also need to retrieve specialized equipment to finish repairs. Why is it that when a crew responds to my report of a wire down at my home or neighborhood, they are standing by or not working to get my lights back on? When you arrive at a site that has wires that are down and burning or energized, we want to make sure that that area is safe for the public and also for the employee. So when you see someone standing around, they're actually making the area safe for everyone. That first crew on the scene keeps people away from the downed wire until a specially trained crew arrives to make repairs. Can't Atlantic City Electric eliminate power outages by putting all power lines underground? It can minimize outages, but it doesn't eliminate outages. But one of the issues that we have with the underground wires is when there's an outage, they generally last from far longer than an overhead outage. Because part of what you have to do is, one, locate the outage, two, dig it up, and then three, make the repairs. So generally the, the duration of the outages with the underground system are far longer than they are on the overhead system. We hope you found this information on how power is restored helpful. And as always, you can do your part in the restoration process by giving us a call. Thanks for watching.